Hey guys, it's your girl Evie Siskels and as you guys may know, I just had a baby a few months ago. I know a lot of moms that say it's so hard to do my makeup when I have a screaming baby and I'm getting dressed trying to take care of the house and my career on top of that. So a lot of women say that they don't have time for makeup. So that's why I'm here in New York City in Soho at NARS Makeup to show you guys and learn from the professionals how you can do your own makeup in less than 10 minutes. So come with me and I'm going to show you guys that it can be done. What's up, Nico? How are you? Good. So, so nice to see so you. Nice to see you too. So, guys, I'm actually here. This is Nico Lopez. He's a celebrity makeup artist, and I'm actually really excited because you have done like some of the biggest names in the industry. You've done their makeup. So, tell us a little bit about that. Well, as you know, um, Nars is a fashion brand, so we collaborate with a lot of fashion designers doing Fashion Week in New York, London, and Paris. Designers like Alexander Wang, Rodarte. Jacob. That's amazing. Yeah, he's done makeup for like Bella and Gigi Hadid. And Nico, I know a lot of moms get so intimidated when they hear like, oh my God, but that's like celebrity, you know, like these women are on TV, they're on the runway. You know, how can we make moms that just had babies that have no time make themselves feel amazing and look great? It's basically about knowing all the products to use, how to prep your skin and how to select the products that are ideal for your personal skin type. Right. That's what we like to call runway to real way. Oh, I love that. Runway to real way. So Nico, you're going to show us how it's done. Let's do it. Okay. Like, what are we going to do? We're going to keep it simple. We're not going to make it confusing. We're going to keep it fresh and clean. Something you could wear every single day without feeling like or looking like you have a lot of makeup on and just looking your best. What's the first step? Before we start, let's remove your makeup. So you know, a lot of women say after they give birth that their skin is super, super, super dry. I think because of like the hormones. Yeah. that take place so like is there anything you recommend with like taking care of your skin like before even starting the makeup yeah i actually i'm a big fan of um oils mm -hmm. so um especially whether you give birth or not it's just that time of year when it's really cold out and your skin gets right. really dry i like to sleep in a oil so that when you wake up your skin absorbs all that oil all that moisture while you're sleeping so when you wake up your skin's really hydrated and you really have to use minimal product okay. so this is a really nice gentle toner just to get rid of the dry patches. What exactly does toner do? So toner is gonna be the prepping step before you apply moisturizers. Toner helps bring the pH back to normal and close the pores so that you oh. can apply all your serums and creams and they penetrate the skin a lot more efficiently. So it gets rid of the areas where you have a little bit of dryness or patches. You learn something new every day. Ta-da, fresh face. But now is when the magic is really gonna start. We're going to apply a little eye cream mm -hmm. to hydrate the under eye. Yeah. When you're applying moisturizer, you want to make sure that you really massage it into the skin to allow the product to really seep into the skin the deepest. Same manner that you would apply moisturizer, mm -hmm. you're going to apply the tinted moisturizer, avoiding the eye area, blending it into the hairline, down the jawline, around the temples of the face. Just imagine. Oh wow. See how natural? Yeah, this is great. You can still see, see your skin through the makeup. Right. It doesn't even look like I have makeup Absolutely on. Absolutely not. That's like it, it is because you know like it evens out my complexion, but you don't see makeup. Yeah, I don't see makeup. A question that I get asked about the most mm -hmm. all the time is how to look less tired and how to really yes. brighten up the under eyes. Yes, Nico, that's like the most <laughs> important thing that every single mom says. It's like, oh my God, I didn't sleep last night. Like, how can I make my eyes look, you know, like brighten them or like make them look like not tired? So, okay, what's your well, trick? Well, NARS luckily has a number one selling concealer in the US out of any company. Oh, amazing, okay. So this is that product that's perfect for concealing, brightening and hydrating the under eye. This is the holy grail of concealer. What I like to do is apply it from the inner corner, lightly stroking, doing soft strokes towards the outside of the eye. Now to give that skin that I noticed that you said that you like your skin to look really fresh, you don't yes. look, you're very dry, you don't want to look tired. We have the NARS new Tinted Glow Booster. Oh, okay. This is something that I like to apply on the high points of the base just to give your skin that extra boost of radiance and that really illuminated, glowy, healthy glow. Okay, so this is really cool. You don't even need a brush. You Absolutely just not. do it on your hands. Lightly tap it on areas where you want to see a little bit extra luminosity. I like to apply it on the temples, on the cheekbones, down the center of the nose, the forehead. Now that your skin's perfected, mm -hmm. I want to use our Orgasm Lip Oil. 
Awesome. Especially because the weather is very cold out. The oh, oil, so that's actually a lip oil, not a lip gloss? Yeah, it's a lip oil. Oh. So it's extremely, extremely hydrating. Oh, this feels really nice. It's not like that sticky. You know, like sometimes you wear like lip gloss and it's like, you like can't even open Absolutely. your lips. This is it's really smooth. Yeah. So next, we are going to play the eyes up. Okay. And using a shadow stick is the easiest way to play up the eyes without spending too much time. Amazing. Now I'm going to apply that from the inner corner to the outer corner. And using your fingertip again, you're just going to go ahead and blend that from the lash line up to the crease. You don't have to worry about having a steady hand because we're gonna blend it right out. So I literally feel like, ladies, you can take all of this, put it in your little makeup bag, and you could literally do it in your car. That's how easy Absolutely. this makeup is. We're gonna apply a light coat of mascara. We are finishing this look by applying a touch of bronzer onto the cheeks. Just to give you that healthy sun-kissed look. I'm using one of our new shades of blush in the color Tempted. Just to give you that rose gold blushed cheek color. Guys, it's that easy. You can literally do this in your car. Just literally just pull your mirror down and then just do your makeup in less than 10 minutes. So that is amazing. So. Now that we have our basic look down, which we did in less than 10 minutes, what about date night? Because you know, like it's really important for moms to get out there to, you know, feel good, look good. But you know, the time that date night comes, they're like, ah, but what do I do about my makeup? Like, Absolutely. what can we do? Can, can we build on this? Absolutely. So this works in one of two ways. This could be your everyday mom look, running errands, just running around the kids. Also, if you're a working mom or just a working professional, this is a very professional look to wear to work where it doesn't require too much makeup mm -hmm. or you want to look polished. And say after the office, you're going to meet some girlfriends after work or you're going to meet like, you're going on date night. Right, you're going out with the hubby or with a date yeah. or whatever. I'm going to spice it up a little bit but still not look so far-fetched that your everyday look and all the setting is so glam up. Right. It's about finding the happy medium and just adding a couple more things to your regimen so you don't get confused or it's not overwhelming. Adding slightly heavier eyeliner, maybe amping up the lip, adding a little brow, just those three little things will take it to the evening level oh. and still looking at yourself. Let's do it, guys. So first, we're going to add this gorgeous new palette. It's called the Afterglow Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, let me look at that. That's really Very nice. I Here, depending on your comfort level, mm -hmm. you have your everyday neutrals that you could use for work or running around, and then you have your accessory colors that you could really amp it up like it's an accessory for Ooh, special occasions. I like that. So I usually go with like bold colors, like I'm... You know, like you're not I'm, afraid of makeup? I'm not afraid of makeup at all, but if you're a little bit more of a makeup lover. Some moms are more makeup lovers, right? So it's the same technique. For example, if you're very conservative and you're not, you don't want a lot, you're gonna apply this on the base. How I'm gonna show you. Mm -hmm. However, if you love makeup, you could use a darker shade. Oh, awesome! So what I'm gonna do is actually mix both, since you want a happy medium. Okay. I'm gonna apply the light shade over the eyeshadow stick to get more of a shimmery, glistening effect. I'm gonna add that really nice smoky color right over the top of that to give it that really nice rust, coppery, smoky eye that a lot of women like to look like a bronze goddess. This is how you do it. If you see something here that you like, don't be afraid to mix. I went initially with this color mm -hmm. to do that, but because you do left that really like slightly smokier eye and you have that really beautiful rust color, I added just a slightly, a touch of that tangerine just to kind of tie it all together. Okay, awesome. But there's nothing wrong with just going in with that one color and calling it a day. Right, right. Another way to look at it to kind of make it a little bit more foolproof, this could be your everyday um, date night color on the crease. But say you're wearing like a nice tangerine color or you're wearing a pink dress and you want to add a touch, an element to customize it. Right. You're always going to pick your crease color here. And if you're wearing a pink dress or something very summery, Dip it in a touch oh, of the so pink. that's like the accessory. That's the accessory. That's oh, the way to put it. Yeah. okay, I love that. Crease color, and then you can pick a little accessory undertone. Okay, I a love that. A little pink or a little pink. It's really becoming like a date night look. Yeah, but still, we're not gonna use any black. We're not gonna use anything too hard. We're not gonna use a black liner unless you like that. Mm -hmm. So instead of a black eyeliner, I'm gonna use a brown eyeliner. Okay. And again, you don't have to worry about having the steadiest hand because I'm gonna apply it and then quickly smudge it to give you more of a diffused, softer gotcha. look. 
So I'm lining the eyes using Mambo Eyeliner to give your eyes and lashes a little bit more dimension. And using a small, dense brush, I'm gonna quickly go in and smudge it so that you don't see any harsh line. I'm gonna apply one more coat of mascara. Finish the look by adding a lipstick. I am using the shade Tonka. It's a really nice brown. So I had told Nico I like a little bit more of a bold color, so this is definitely a little bit bolder. So how do you feel about your final look? I love it, guys. This is the final date night look, which was really easy. And let's do a little recap. We just added some more eyeshadow. Just and a couple of shades. Just a couple of shades. You guys can literally play around if you want to go bolder, or if you want to stay a little bit in the safe zone, you can do that. Then we added some brow. And literally all you have to do is line what you already have. Just line what your mama gave you. And then added some more layers of mascara of what we already had on. And then we just topped it with a cool bold lipstick. And here with lipstick, it's a matter of preference whether you want to go more bold, a little bit lighter. It's all up to you. But this was the final look. You guys can do it at home too. It's really easy. And Nico, thank you so much for course, guiding yes. us today and teaching us how to do some easy makeup for moms in less than 10 minutes. Absolutely, my pleasure. Thank you.